Welcome back to CBS This Morning Saturday. This week, Apple announced the rollout of a new feature that's both winning praise and raising concerns. The tool will scan photos and text messages on Apple devices looking for known images of child sex abuse. Tom Hansen looks at both the benefits and the privacy issues raised by the new technology. New controversy over Apple's latest software update, Neuralmatch. The program scheduled for rollout later this year will scan U.S. iPhones for images of child sex abuse. Apple's gone out of its way to make this as privacy friendly as possible. Jim Lewis is an expert in cybersecurity. How exactly will this software work? There will be part of the program that has access to data what they call hashes of the imagery. In other words, the picture reduced to a numeric formula. Apple will use that numeric formula to look for things, images that match it on your device. If there's a match, the photos will be shown to an Apple employee. Verified sensitive material will then be forwarded to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, and the user's iCloud account will be locked. The move drawing both applause and outcry on Twitter. Ashton Kutcher tweeting, it's a major step forward in the fight to eliminate child sexual abuse material from the Internet. Security watchdogs concerned the new software could be exploited by hackers and foreign governments. The head of WhatsApp calling this a major setback for personal privacy, tweeting, can the scanning software running on your phone be error proof? Researchers have not been allowed to find out. Do you think that this could potentially put certain people under scrutiny from law enforcement who don't deserve to be. Apple program itself is designed in such a way that the chances of it making a mistake, of it saying something is child pornography when it's not, are infinitesimally small. I don't think this is a serious threat to privacy. For better or for worse, do you think that Apple's move here will push other large tech companies to follow suit? I think all the tech companies are looking at ways to deal with uh, malicious content, right? There's a lot of bad stuff on the internet and it's more than overdue that they try and step in to change that. Apple says its efforts to protect children will evolve and expand over time. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Tom Hansen, New York. The reason you understand. Yes. The privacy concerns For sure. you yeah. understand. It's that age old debate. The more the more I guess things that we have, the more questions of privacy. And you up. also understand now that it's more likely that other companies will mm -hmm. jump in. They right? certainly will. Yeah.